Hi guys, this is Christina from Safe Landing. I wanted to introduce you to my therapy dog. Her name is Mantequilla, which means butter in Spanish, um, but we all call her Kia. Mantequilla is a therapy dog. So she's undergone about six months of training through a therapy dog training program and has passed a test called Canine Good Citizen Test which means that she had to demonstrate um, manners. She had to show that she is obedient and that she enjoys being around other people and can be around other dogs. So she's passed all of these things and we are waiting now for her therapy dog um, application to be approved through a therapy organization. But she's been coming to work for a long time. She's used to being around all of our clients. Um, and she's really cute and sweet. So I'm going to introduce you to her. She's sleeping right now. But she won't mind. So this is Mantequilla. See ya, baby. Hi. And she's pretty much like that for most of the day. Her temperament is very calm. Um, and essentially... How I use her in my therapeutic settings is that when clients are recounting trauma, abuse, um, any situation that makes them anxious, she provides grounding. Um, so we talked about grounding in some other videos, but what it means is it brings you back to the present moment. So by just simply petting the dog and realizing how soft she is, how warm, how sweet, how whatever, what you're doing is you're drawing yourself out of your anxiety or um, flashback to uh, maybe a post-traumatic situation and you're bringing yourself to the present moment in order to talk about it and emotionally process what has actually happened. Um, so she allows, she allows for, <laughs> for that process during the therapeutic sessions. Um, she also really helps to build up trust in the session. So, you know, it gives clients who don't want to talk, it gives us something to talk about right away. Um, and no one was ever, ever forced to participate in animal assisted therapies if they don't want to. She is hypoallergenic, so clients with allergies don't have to actually worry about that. But, um, you know, if you don't like dogs, you never, ever, ever will be in session with a dog. Um, that would not be therapeutically appropriate. So that's not something that you have to worry about. But for more information about um, the validity of animal-assisted therapy, I definitely encourage you to check out my article on the Safe Landing website. And it goes through also a little bit more in-depth about the difference between emotional support animals, therapy animals, and service animals, as well as how it is effective for adolescents in the residential setting. So have a great day. See you next time.